Hi everyone! So in this video, I'm going to be touching up on a couple of things. First off, I'm sorry that I have been gone for so long. I have been filming during this period, but the, all the videos will be up after this month. Most of them are Halloween related. As a, if you guys know me, you know that it's a very special holiday and I go all out each year. So those are the videos that you can anticipate after this month. Also, I will be finally making an apartment tour. It will take me a little more time to get everything finished. But basically I can say that the majority is done finally. We started this year at the end of uh, June. And it's now and, and we finished well the majority we finished at the end of September, so it definitely was quite a long period where absolutely everything was in chaos all the dates were pushed back, things that really didn't, that I had no control over uh, happened and it, it was it was a mess most of the, most of the time but you know, like now I can, when I'm when I've been living here and seeing everything I'm, I'm extremely happy so I'm willing to do an apartment tour very soon so you will be seeing uh, my style, how I designed everything, because absolutely everything is picked by me, designed by me, and uh, yeah, so two videos at least are what you can expect. The next thing I wanted to talk about was new piercings. I did get a new piercing, I got my third conch done on my left ear. I was debating whether I'm getting done my uh, second forward helix on both ears or this conch. I opted for the conch just because I knew that I wanted to get it done. Uh, I have three done on my right ear and two done on my left ear and I was like, uh, symmetry, you know? <laughs> um, and I know that I wanted to get it done at some point so I just was like, okay, let's do it. The reason I hesitated for so long is for me, my conch piercings heal the longest out of all of my piercings. They give me the most trouble, most pain, and just they're really a pain in the ass piercing for me. I've had customers and clients and everyone tell me, a lot of people have told me that, you know, their conches didn't hurt much, they sort of healed in a month, they didn't give them any trouble after a little while, and they were perfect piercings. And, but for me, each one of my conches has given me so much trouble and so many headaches, and I'm... Um, I know that the, the healing process is going to be very difficult for me. Now on to the biggest news of all and the title of this video, which probably made you very confused. Yes, I am the mother of four, meaning I got two new babies and uh, I'm going to show them to you now. <laughs> um, and I do call my, my children, my babies, they are animals and they are rats. I have three rats and one rabbit now, so if any of you thought that I had four children at the age of 21, no, <laughs> I, I have animals. So I'm gonna start showing them to you and I'm gonna talk to you a little, about, a little bit about them. At first I'm gonna show you my old babies, <laughs> if, 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 if I can say that, but the ones that I have had for some time and then I'm gonna show you the new ones. Okay, so this is Aurora. Now, you guys have seen him in a couple of one of my videos. I just thought that I'd show him to you again, so you know how he's doing. He's doing super good, he's very very friendly and loves to be pet and um, he has been getting a little old now. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure how old is he, but yeah, he's, he's doing his best. And uh, yeah, he doesn't really communicate much or like want to play with the other rats, but mm, he, he prefers being by himself most of the time. And if it works for him, it works for everyone. I wanted to show you Hannibal and the second I turned on the camera, she is just giving me all of this and not the face. Let's see if, if she will. <laughs> So she has been doing really well as well. Uh, she's been getting so many new visitors and she's been super, super happy. And she still loves to cuddle a lot. We cuddle every evening and she licks everyone. I think she's the friendliest because she honestly does start licking absolutely everyone. 
And with rats, if they start to sort of groom you and lick you, they have kind of accepted you and she's super trusting with, uh, with people. Now, one of my babies, the new ones, um, who's also a female, I wanted to put them in the same cage I'm starting to like introduce them. She doesn't, she doesn't really like her. <laughs> But uh, we're, we're trying to get there. I'm hoping that she will start to like the other new babies as well. Because with uh, Aurora, with the rabbit, she doesn't really care too much about him. If, if we put them on the, uh, on the bed at the same time, they don't really do anything. They don't really care about each other. But uh, yeah, for some reason, she's not very into the new rats. Okay, so again, as you can see, she's not very, doesn't want to be on camera that much. So now I'm going to show you the two new babies. Kind of impossible to show you. <laughs> so this is Lazarus and she is about two or three months old. Uh, she's very, very tiny. She hasn't gotten, well, she hasn't grasped the concept yet that if she runs out of my hands when I'm holding her, she will fall down. She doesn't understand that. So it's a little difficult with her uh, because she hasn't gotten her sort of lessons yet. And this is the uh, rat that Hannibal doesn't like very much. She is super friendly as well, but she's more, she's more of a scaredy cat, definitely. She's so tiny, she's the tiniest one of all of them, so she keeps to herself and when she's with me, she always sort of tries to get really close and um, kind of hides. But yeah, she's super super friendly. Uh, she didn't, when, when I got her, she didn't bite, she didn't do anything. She pooped and peed a lot, but that's normal with rats and especially new ones. And uh, yeah, so if you can see, she is so so tiny and very very fragile um, but I'm hoping that she will be more uh, active I would say um, after some time but she will definitely need some training and love and cuddles and a lot of support and I'm hoping that the other animals will start supporting her very soon as well okay so the last baby that I'm gonna show you his name is Andromeda and I saw him in the store. There were quite a few of him, or similar ones like him. The, all of the other ones were very like cool, calm, very zen, very like, I'm gonna I'm do my own thing, I'm gonna relax, like everything's fine. And then there was this guy and he was literally jumping all around the cage, climbing everywhere, doing super googly eyes at me, like take me home please, like it's so boring here. So I took him home. He is so hyperactive, he does not stand still, like at the moment he's in my lap and he's just going nuts. I'm gonna try to show him to you, but I don't know how, th how that's gonna go. So this baby, yeah like I said his name is Andromeda and he is definitely the party animal, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's super friendly, none of my babies bite. He doesn't bite either, but he's he's super super hyperactive. It does not stand still. Whenever I have guests, whenever I move around or do anything, he's literally like jumping and pounding on the or like biting on the cage and everything. He's just like let me out, do something, let's have fun. And uh, yeah, both of them, him and Lazarus, eh, they're both like two or three months old. And uh, yeah, you, you can see he does not stand still. He's just like nope, nope, nope. He's extremely warm. To me, it feels like he's like 40 degrees and has a high fever, but this is normal for him. He has to have a high temperature because he doesn't have any. Um, he has a little bit of fur, but that's like that's that's not really fur. Oh my god. <laughs> he's extremely curious about absolutely anything. Okay, so this was my fourth baby. So now I have shown you all of my four babies. You know what to anticipate, what I have been doing recently, um, what videos you're gonna be expecting, and I've, I've kept you updated 
at least that's that's how I feel. Of course, there are a lot of things happening in my life that I can't really show or there's no point to show. And I am a very, very busy person and YouTube definitely is not one of my priorities. But I do like doing these videos and I like providing content for you. But I understand that YouTube will never be a sort of a job for me. And uh, it's definitely not going to be something that I'll be doing daily or even weekly. But whenever I do put these videos up, I'm, I'm so happy that the majority of the feedback that I get is very positive and you guys are always... You always want to see my videos, you're always excited to see my videos and that's, it's so heartwarming and I wanted to thank all of you guys for the support and the subscri subscribers I've been getting so many new subscribers as well and it's it's so amazing to see you guys and to hear back from you so thank you so so much and I guess I will see you in my next video, bye!